All right, uh, had a good day outside. Um, it was windy and cold, and it was fun. They had a good time. Um, we got after it, so I thought it was a, a really good practice today. Um, we had a little bit of uh, a time off because I had to go work on the NCAA rules um, committee. So um, we had, uh, they were lifting a meeting, and then we're back on our fifth practice today. So we got four this week, so I'm excited about that. I sure hope it snows one of these days. So, all right. Is it good to get your quarterbacks out there and throwing those kind of conditions? Oh, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. And, uh, you know, early on, a couple of the quarterbacks were like, ah, and then all of a sudden they started making the throws or making plays, and, and uh, so it was good. How was that meeting for you? I know a couple of uh, rules they talked yeah, about. Yeah, it, it was really rules. good. It was really good. We um, There was a great conversation, and our um, – uh, they, they've, done, they've done a good job. Ty Halpin, who's the head of it for the NCAA, um, they're going to get some – a couple of the head coaches that have been special teams coordinators and that type of stuff in the NFL are going to get together. And we've got a few more things that we're going to do, not for this year, but we're trying to um, be proactive in, in a few areas. And it was, it was really neat because we met with the NFL's Rules Committee and our Rules Committee. And so we were kind of talking about both things in both leagues, which I can't talk about, but it was pretty cool um, kind of thinking everybody being proactive on, on our game. One of the things I saw was the uh, fair catch, the kickoff. Yeah. Is that a rule that you like? Yeah, yeah I do like it. Um, we put it in um, for the reason, if you you know, as we thought that kicking the ball from the 35, people would just, you know, kick it out and not have as many as returns. But now people are starting to kick it really high, as you've noticed, and catch it on the two or one and getting down there. So this was a way that it gave you the opportunity to fair catch and you can have on the 25 if you didn't feel like that was something you wanted to do or you can return it every time if you want to. So you still have all that. It just gave that opportunity um, to help that. Is there still a chance they might change the redshirt, redshirt situation in terms of being able to play um, some guys in a certain amount of time? Yeah, that's not done with, um, with, like with our group on the on-field rules. Um, but uh, I, that's something that the uh, competition committee is doing. I, I personally would like to see it. I think it would be an excellent rule. Is it possible for this year or would that be in the uh, future? The way I understand it, yeah, I think in April they're going to look at it again. So hopefully in April we'll know something. Um, there's a few rules that come out in April and they meet again. So um, I'm hoping that's a rule that, um, that comes through. Uh, a couple, couple of coaches have said that uh, junior college guys have come along and, and really added a level of competition very quickly mm -hmm. to, to spring camp. Are you seeing that? Yeah, they are. It's uh, still a learning um, uh, area for them. They're trying to grasp everything quickly, but uh, um, they've done a good job, and they're all they're all out there competing and uh, been pleased with all of them so far. One of those is at tight end, and you, you guys have gotten a lot more athletic. It seems at tight end with Poplowski and, and, and Chris Bounds, right? And uh, yeah, and, and Darion and. Mm -hmm. Russell's doing really well also, and, uh, and Coleman. Uh, but I, I'm, yeah, I'm excited about our tight ends and what they've been doing and, and how they're doing. Have you noticed the difference with, uh, is it new Moto follow? Is that uh -huh. Have you noticed the difference with him since he's been back here? Yeah, you've been practicing that. Good job. Uh, yeah, new Moto has done really well um, competing out there. and um, He's in really good shape, too. I was a little concerned coming back off of, you know, being out for a little while. That, but he came back in really good shape. And, he, and Coach Wilson and them did a good job with him in offseason. But he came back in good shape before that. Um, and he's done good in spring practice. And, um, had a positive attitude and doing, doing excellent in school. We're halfway through the semester. It's hard to believe we're already halfway through, but he's done a really excellent job there, too. When there's a guy maybe going that you're going to give a second or a third chance to, you know, how challenging is that for you to, to make that determination? Uh, it's, uh, it's always challenging in every situation I handle with that situation. If they do the things they're supposed to do along the way and, and they hold up to all of it, then they do. It's not like they just go and I don't have anything. But if they don't hold up to it, I don't bring them back because they, they're not truly remorseful and they don't truly want to change. And so I, I've seen that with Numoto that he truly wants to change. He really truly wants to make a difference. Jacob Callier, are you seeing him be ready to take that next step in his development as a player? Uh, yeah, Jacob's do, doing well. He's uh, um, getting in much better shape um, and uh, kind of understands the speed you got to play at in, in college football, major college football. He has ability to rush the passer, and that's where we really need him to, to flourish, and uh, hopefully he will. And, uh, I've seen uh, he had a good practice today, um, and uh, we did competed on some third downs, and he was he showed some good flashes at pass rushing. All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you very much.